Hello, everybody. I am here with my first review of a stop motion of Top Gear. Now, this is what I've been doing. Um, three of these cars that I have right now are um came in a set, and um we're only using four of them right now because. This one right here that I'm going to start with will be for a, another stop motion, which I will eventually do. Now, it's been a while since I probably have done a stop motion, so um, if we go back, we can see, um, you can see what I've done on my stop motions. Um, I saw that my, um, my soccer one was pretty popular. For some people, and so let's get on with getting the cars. So the first car that I have here was the Coast Guard car, which I think would be a Toyota Land Cruiser. Now, let me show you some of its features. The doors can open like like this. The doors open. They close. The, you have like a mic here. Um, nice, nice detail here. Um, pretty good detail here in the back. Um, you can put this, put like it. Well, this was used for the scuba diving gear. In um, big tires there. Mm, the bottom, I like that piece right there. Um, you could take the roof off. And yeah, I can show you inside. There's like a little steering wheel. You got a back window, front window, and you can put that back on and it'll stay. Now, so that's basically what this car has. Not really much. This car um came in a in that in a Coast Guard set. And um well, you have little things that look like mirrors there. The little opening of the car. Yeah. So, let's move on into the next car. The next car is a big car. Oh, yeah, and this one was in a set. The next car is in a set. I am pretty sure that it is a Morgan. Now, I'm not sure which Morgan. Morgan plus four, Morgan plus eight. Not really sure, but what I like about this car is the gr is that you could see the grill. You like I like the lights. Now you could take those lights off, which I will right now. And this is what they look like. And there's like a little part in there, little black piece, and you slide it back in. Now there's some satellite here. Um, there's. Um, I added a few features of the car. Oh, yeah, and this came with guns, but I took them off. This can move, and that was with another gun. Um, I love the detail on this car. In the back, it didn't come with a wheel, which I don't really like. In here, there's a little joystick that I added and the and a steering wheel and it's kind of hard to see so i'll probably take off the roof and show you so yeah i added that and i also added like a little um gear um a little check to see how good your engine's working because in real cars if it goes to the red line um like way off the engine might explode so we'll put that back on and there should be flames coming out of here, but I'm not really sure because it's not a fast car. If you're moving how it runs perfectly and there is no back, um, is there, there is no back wheels. The back wheels are actually hidden back here, made by something here to cover them. I really love that. I really love the detail in the front, the grill, the hold of the grill, the lights, um, this smooth part, these parts, this beside these parts beside the wheels, and of course, um, 
I basically love the front, how they put it here. Now, there's a number on there, and I'll just show you what it is. It says AC, it says AC9466. Um, so, that's basically it for this car. This car, another came in a set. You can adjust this. Um, another car that came in a set. This car came in the set Monster Fighters. Yeah. So, now let's move on to the next car, which was the car that was in my, which was the car that was in the Octane review. Right here, you have that Formula One. Now, what I thought about this car, you saw all the features. Now, what I looked about this car is, I thought about it, and I thought maybe I could make this car, well, race against some other cars that might be, that might be helpful. Now, you probably see this um, here, a Formula One. I'm not really sure, but I'm sure it's probably in the race Le Mans. Le Mans is a 24-hour race, um, which pretty is kind of, it's not boring. I haven't been to one, but it's probably pretty good. It's also in a game. Um, so here is like a here's like a little steering wheel as you saw. The car moves perfectly, and that Morgan that I was showing you is a classic. And this car right here is a probably the off-road car and this car is basically a race car i like the spoiler this part this part like the open wheels how they put that the these pieces at the bottom that hold the wheels um not really a fan of the in inside probably they probably could have added a little joy probably no not a joystick but probably they could have made a, a better idea probably put a seat in there i like these little parts that do, there is no doors which th is kind of bad because i think they should have put the doors because if there's someone here and they just hop in it's not really gonna be that realistic to a real frame level as you can see there's also the stickers five 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 this is basically number five yeah. the next car is a classic it's my it's a handmade car it is the classic Shelby Cobra that I have made now I hope you like this little car I put a little steering wheel in there that can actually turn like um, you could take the windshield off and it will turn just like that now the car's fragile and the car probably will break as i probably just broken the windshields um a person one person can sit in here it's what i did i put it on every car in the back i like the wheels and i like the front interior that i did for a cobra now, it's a Shelby Cobra. It's not the Shelby Cobra GT500. I think it's a, sh it's a Shelby 67420-something. It's a classic. I put it in blue and gray because I thought it looked nice. I like the interior here, um, the interior inside. I didn't add a joystick because I thought there was no room. I like the lights, how they blend in with this really cool detailed part. Now, this car was just uh, my own made car. I hope you enjoy this beauty that I have made. Not really big, much of a better car person, probably. Um, I make okay cars, not bad ones kind of okay well um i'm more of a better creator like i can probably make a golf course out of this whole entire thing i can make a golf course mm, yeah i think i have but don't remember it well st let's get back to the car now the car r runs smooth um like the lights yeah 
Well, that's probably much of it of the other car. Now, it, now this is my another classic handmade. It is my very own MGB. Now, if you see that little smile there, just ignore that. I got that from the Lego um from a Lego car set, which I happen to own a lot of Lego um different Lego sets, mostly Star Wars. I have a big collection of Lego up there that I might show you. Some of it's fixed, some of it's broken kind of well i made this car convertible um completely convertible the exact same as the other car except just ignore that like i always put some to cover a little part there so um yeah i like the lights don't really like that wish i could erase that um steering wheel um probably mga tires um which happen to own an MGB and an MGA. Well, and the and yeah, steering wheel and pretty sure MGA tires both sides, back person can sit. I was planning on I would just put that. I don't know why. Probably just so I can cover up some of the stuff. So this is a car. It's kind of long. Doesn't really look like an MGB. Be sure to like this car. I think the Cobra probably did a better job on that one. It's just probably I was in a rush with this one. Well, still, please enjoy the car, people. I love this car. Um, it's a British car, classic car. Happened it. Um, well, it's uh between you and me, the car. Actually, in real life, the car leaks. So, um, well, yeah, that's what I don't really like about them. Otherwise, you can do this. You can run it along smoothly. Now, okay, so those are all the cars that I have. But there is one more car that I am about to announce. And that car, I haven't made it yet. It's not this broken car that I put Subaru on. Um, that's what they usually have in Top Gear, a broken car. Have you seen if you've watched Top Gear before? Now, the last car that I'm going to introduce is a fast, is a very fast car. It has 1,000 horsepower, a V16 engine. If you can guess, if you're thinking between Pug... A, Pagani Zonda. B, Pagani um, Lamborghini Vinano. And C, Bugatti Veyron. Well, you, you have guessed right. It is a Bugatti Veyron. I am about to make one of these beautiful cars that I have made. Now, I, w I have some of the parts of the car, which I will eventually show you, and um, there's more of it that I need to show you, like the minifigures, the back, um, I have a few tools, which I'm just organizing them right now, and, okay, so, here are the parts for the Bugatti Vera. Now, here are the parts for the Bugatti Vera. Let's start with the biggest part, the engine. Now, this car is also a myself made car. Um, I think I kind of put the engine a little bit too big. Well, I got this from the Octane Racing, which you probably saw the truck. Um, just replaced it with gray. I was gonna put, I was, I'm gonna put Bugatti there, and it can open. And now. Now, to see the engine, this car has a magnificent engine, kind of hard to see there. Well, the car has four cylinders, the car has that, and four cylinders, kind of hard to see because of that. Let's see if I can take, yeah, I probably can, yeah, I can't. Can't take that up. Well, sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Well, 
sorry. Well, this part you can see it spins around like a regular motor. Um, there is a little, like, part. See? Yeah, there, there, there. See those little cylinders? And there's those little cylinders right there. That's basically it. Um, it's just I put a big covering. This part I was going to make for the Shelby, but I thought it would probably work for the Bugatti because, well, it's kind of big. And I thought regular tires for, like, those Shelbys. I thought to put these other tires, which um, will look kind of not cooler, but still. Here's probably what I need for the back of the car. Yeah, this is probably the f start of the front. Might add another of these. Yeah, I'm going to add another of these probably. And maybe in the back so I can extend the car to make it look beautiful. Now, the hard part is putting in the engine. I'll probably put, I'll probably make a little square here where I can put the engine in or something. And then I'll do that. Now, I hope I get this done because it might take a while. Um, have a not, another few pieces. And the last part is this part. The joystick that can actually move anywhere you want. It's manual, not automatic like the other one. Here it is. Now, you're probably wondering, is this guy up to something or no? So, look, you hold this and the thing moves anywhere. Now, this is, I'll show you why. This is the tiny little, this is the secret. You, you got, I got this in a spider droid set, I think, from Star Wars, which I really won't make a review of because it took a very long time to build that thing and I got exhausted. So, um, what I have here, so what you do is basically put this part inside and it'll be, and there's like a little joint there. Yeah. And you put this part, you put the regular part on the joint and you have this and the thing is a manual Bugatti Veyron joystick. Now, back to top. Now, back to the regular top gear that we were talking about. Okay, so we're back here um, with something else. Um, sorry of that interruption. Back to where we were. So, um, you probably can't see the whole thing because the cars are in the way, so I'll just take them out. big fella and this fella so what I did is I cleared this thing and I'll start with this broken up car which probably will get more broken as always now I got this car from a gaming part I got this car making the thing a happy place Mm, like as you see in top here it's actually Emmett's car from the Lego movie don't actually have a set I actually bought it um, I actually bought it from which is they actually made me make it for a day like I could make it if I wanted it could also turn to a flying thing I forget what it um, where what it is so this I got it from a car set um, collect a lot of Legos I said different types this is for the last part of that of the race which will be probably which i will make a stop motion of with the guy holding it so that just fits right there now moving on to the minifigures which are here now let me just bring them up closer now here are the minifigures let's start with the most common mini um the most common minifigure in well, the in, in Top Gear, probably the most common, is the my very own Stig that I have made. Now, the helmet was a police helmet, and um, the it's just a blackhead. This part I got it for a 
um, from a scout trooper, and um, that's basically it. And the Stig is a racer, professional racer, and no one knows who he is. So I put that. So next we can move on to Jeremy Clarkson. As I see, I put a coffee cup in everyone. Happy face, um, Harry Potter, Harry Potter kind of thingy, and also, um, yes, um, nice trousers. So yeah. Next I have um, Richard Hammond has a police thing. I just added that to make it. Nice, another coffee cup, black hair, nice smile, mm, regular trouser, regular trousers, as you can see, and James May. Just regular Lego fist smile, brown hair, yellow coffee cup, the Coast Guard, um, the Coast Guard things to lie. Wanted to look as nice as they could. Just put Jeremy back in his spot. And, well... Yeah, it's mostly all his features. So, now let's move on to some of the details. More detail. Now, you've probably seen this. This is the break sign in the LEGO Lock 10 um, review that I made. This break sign represents probably some uh, stuff in Top Gear. They Here's a stop fuel sign, which I got from a... Lego car set, which you can buy. Um, yeah. And I also managed to have the still, those octan, the oct those octan, let me just take around, those octan things right there. Um, the toolbox, um, I added another, um, probably wrench or um remember these if you haven't seen that video please check it out and please like it um this uh, those tools again now let me just get the get back in the doors open all, all the way um some more tools well yeah and um some an oil can in case the car gets a little bit rusty, you can rust it. You can unrust it with some of that oil. Now, I also managed to still have a drill or a air gun to change the tires. We have this thing again. I think it's another wrench. Funny looking wrench, probably. That's what I heard from a lot of people I'm sure or from and this is well probably I heard it not from people but I heard it somewhere I just don't remember now here is another um like kind of looking wrench kind of air drill thingy which you can also use to um put back in the bolts the the bolts of the tire or take them out the air wrench is basically to put them in or there's a little switch to put them out you have a well you have an most of them are just wrenches and you have another one which was the last one and these come in the octane video too this one it looks like you can adjust it but you can't now be sure to and basically that is it except for the entrance part which just that entrance that it's just an entrance that you get from that entrance that you get from um the lego star wars battle on genosius yes well that is it basically top gear my very very own top gear set now be sure to like this video and also remember subscribe see you later until the next video bye